Chris Carajoshu and a bullion great chef of New Orleans now prepares a signature dish, shrimp Saint-Tropez. The entree features Louisiana shrimp spiked with the anise-flavored liqueur, Ricard. What we're doing here, we, you see the pair with a little olive oil on. I mean, I like to use, a lot of time I like to use half and half because I don't want the olive oil to overpower, you know, the, the dish which is cooking. And then we seal the shrimp with a very hot fire for a few seconds, as you see it. And uh, we don't want to overcook. That's what uh, a lot of time people do. They cook uh, fish or shrimp overcook, and then at the end it gets so tough, you know, you can hardly eat. Then we have a little garlic in there, very little of it. And then what we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna use the, the, the licorice shell. We, I like to use the, the Ricard because I think it's much better than Pernod and other kind of it. We deglaze and uh, deglaze burn till we got all the alcohol out of it. You don't want the alcohol. Then we remove the shrimp from the pan in the side plate, as you see it. Remove everything out of there nicely. Let it settle for a few seconds. And then as the shrimp sell in the side, you take a little cream, one cup of cream there, and then you let it reduce till it will make this, uh, the sauce thickening by itself without using any flour or anything like that. And then always when we make a, a cream sauce like that, we like to, I like to use a little lemon juice so it would break the, you know, the flatness of the cream. And as you see on the side, we start to poach, have some water boiling. That's where we're gonna push our vegetable. Well, you see the cream now it come in and become thicker and makes those tiny little bubble. And then when we add the shrimp to the pan, very fast, not too much cooking at that time, just a little bit. You don't want to overcook the shrimp. Then here what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the pot from one end to another because we're gonna blanch the vegetable. And uh, in the side of the vegetable, as we push the vegetable, we always have Andy a lot of, a lot of hot water next to us. You see the push of all the vegetables, they're all in a brunoise, that which I mean a very small diced vegetable. Removing the shrimp from the pot to the uh, serving dish, serving plate nicely. Now if you see your sauce is still too liquid, put it back in the fire for another few minutes. Now you see the vegetables, we just strain it, and we have in a colander with um, ice cold water. Now you see your sauce, your sauce has started to thicken a little bit now. Now what we do after, we cool up the vegetable, we add them to a pot with a little piece of other, a tiny bit of the rica again, just for a little flavor, not too much. Then we add the diced tomato to the sauce, which this is almost finished, the sauce is nice and Look, it has a nice consistency, and then the vegetables, they're all nice color, an overcook. A little white wine, because I think the sauce will look a little thicker there. You can use white wine, you can use the water, whatever you wish. Now we don't use no cream or no liquor at that time anymore. You see, it's nice, it's no, it's not the uh, overtake. Then spread the sauce right over the shrimp. You dice the mint, which is already in there. And then what? The last tank is down here. We're gonna take our diced vegetable, which we had sauteed in butter, you see. We finish the dish and garnish with a little vegetable. See all the nice little color in this pudding? Yeah. And then we finish a little green, whatever you want, pasta, basil, whatever you want to put in.